Hi everyone, welcome back to channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys doing good, safe and sound. So today I'm going to discuss about one of the SQL Server error. So before starting the uh, today topic, I would request each and everyone whoever newly joined channel, please like to subscribe and don't forget to share with others. Please visit the channel playlist SQL Server DBA. So without wasting time, let me start the today session. So I have created this document to you know uh, make you guys understand very well. So have you guys encountered uh, this error and whoever encountered please do comment in the comment section okay. So this is basically this topic is related to the log memory okay. So have you encountered this error the instance of SQL Server database engine cannot obtain a log resource at, at this time. Rerun your statement uh, when there are uh, fewer active users ask the database administration to check the log memory configuration. So have you guys encountered? So I am going to discuss today in this session. Okay. So whenever you uh, see this error, which means you know your uh, SQL Server memory is already reached to maximum level by the log. So if you are receiving this message, it means the SQL Server has reached the maximum amount of memory allocated to that particular log. To see the how much uh, you know consumed by logs, you can use this dmb command. I am just uh, running this command. You can run it, and it will help you to you know figure out the how much percentage occupied. Okay. So in this uh, screenshot, you can see that uh, the output of this source showing the 4.2 GB approximately. You know uh, the 40 percent of the total SQL Server instance memory occupied by this log object store underscore log manager. So this log basically occupied itself 40% memory. So that's the reason we are getting this you know memory crunch error actually. So now the question is uh, this log is occupied so how to identify which session holding this log okay. This is the big questions. So let me give you the idea how to figure out now the second thing is what need to identify we got the log right uh, this particular log is occupied more than 40 percent now we need to figure out uh, which session is holding this log so uh, this query below query will give you the three section the session information the actively executing the session uh, holding the logs and idle session if any idle session which is exist on a particular SQL Server instance and holding the logs it will give you the details. So all together you take this query I will give this query to my shared location. So all together you take this query and update in SSMS so it will give you the result like this. Let me expand a little bit. So you can see here the session ID 78 which is consuming this much log, log count you can see right. Now in the second section you can see the okay I got the seven, uh, session ID 78 but what is the things running in a 78. So you can see the update is running on this particular uh, table uh, and along with the execution plan it is giving okay. So now you have identified on a particular SQL instance which you know what type of lock is con uh, here you see right so what is the lock which is consuming and how much so this is the object stored un underscore lock manager which is consuming more than 40 percent and which query is holding this lock so through this query you can figure out the exact the session id and what are the things running for that particular session id you can get it along with the execution plan. So now your task is you have to discuss, uh, you have to share this query to the customer and you have to give some recommendation. So this you have to check the execution plan. So the bad execution plan always cause the you know uh, lock, more lock. So need to figure, figure out whether the execution plan recommendation what is that. So these are the things need to troubleshoot okay. The same thing I have discussed here. See the, the first steps uh, contain the seven, uh, session ID. It gives you 78 holding the logs 
and the next it is giving you the active uh, executing session holding the logs and the third will give you the idle so in this case no idle session holding this log so that's the reason it's blank right so if any on your part on your sql server instance if any idle session which is holding the logs you can give the details here so this query is really helpful actually you can use that so these are the recommendation as i told you uh, you have to check with the uh, with the all the details this thorough suggest thorough log hint and uh, give the execution plan and most moreover execution bad execution plan creating the high number of log unnecessary it will create the high number of logs so need to figure out so all those things actually if you are getting this query uh, memory crunch error so hope it is helpful i am going to upload this document you can get it from the shared location uh, link i will give the you know, description till then bye bye thank you use this query it is very helpful you can you can utilize this query thank you guys keep watching